Hey, what's up guys? It's Dice and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the top 10 classes for Warzone Season 3. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button, drop a sub on the channel, hit that post notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this for you guys. I hope you all do enjoy it and peace out. Alrighty, so our first weapon on this list is going to be the Owen Gun. So the attachments on the Owen Gun is going to be the Recoil Booster, the Hawkinson 142mm Rapid. Now this barrel did get a slight nerf, but it just went down by three points didn't go down very much at all so it is still definitely reliable the optic is going to be the nidar model 47 the stock is going to be the remove stock perk one and perk two is going to be acrobatic and quick the rear grip is going to be the fabric grip for the extra ads speed and sprint to fire speed the magazine is going to be the 7.62 garenko 72 round mags the ammunition is going to be lengthened for the extra bullet velocity and then last but not least the underbarrel is going to be the m1941 hand stop all right moving on to the second weapon it's going to be the well gun so the attachments on the well gun are going to be the recoil booster the 120 millimeter galwayne short the optic is going to be the slate reflector the stock is going to be the remove stock perk one and perk two is going to be acrobatic and quick the rear grip is going to be fabric grip the magazine is going to be the 7.62 garenko 40 round mags ammunition is going to be lengthened for the extra bullet velocity once again and then the underbarrel will be the m1941 hand stop to control that recoil now moving on to a more underrated smg this is going to be the type 100 so the attachments on the type 100 is going to be the m1929 silencer the barrel is going to be the warabaki 130 34 millimeter rapid. The optic is going to be the Secura short irons. The stock is going to be the Warabaki skeletal. Perk one and perk two is going to be acrobatic and quick. The rear grip is going to be the fabric grip. The magazine is going to be the eight millimeter Kurs 48 round drum. Ammunition is going to be hollow point or lengthened. Under barrel will officially be the M1941 hand stop. So we have the Modern Warfare MP5 right here. So on the first attachment is going to be the barrel, the monolithic integral suppressor. The laser is going to be the TAC laser. The stock is going to be the FTAC collapsible. The magazine will be the 45 round mags. And the under barrel will be the Merc 4 grip. The lap of this this gun has always been consistent and always will be. It hasn't gotten touched at all. So the attachments on it is going to be the agency suppressor. The barrel will be the 7.9 rifled. And what this barrel is going to do for it is going to add damage and add fire rate as well. The laser is going to be the target team spotlight for the extra movement. The under barrel will be the bruiser grip for extra movement as well. And then the magazine is going to be the salvo 45 round fast mags. Alrighty, so the sixth weapon of the video is going to be the bullfrog. This is definitely my favorite weapon in Warzone. And I highly recommend you guys try this class. So the muzzle is going to be the Gru suppressor. The barrel is going to be the 7.4 Task Force barrel. The magazine is going to be the Tiger Team spotlight for the extra movement speed. The stock is going to be no stock just to get the extra sprint to fire as this gun does pull up pretty slow normally. The under barrel will be the bruiser grip for extra movement speed as well. All right, so moving on to a few long range weapons. The XM4 is definitely still up there with the top tier weapons. So the attachments on this gun is going to be the agency suppressor, the Task Force barrel. The optic is going to be the Axial Arms 3X. The magazine is going to be the Stanag 60 round mags. Under barrel will be the field agent grip to control that vertical recoil and the horizontal recoil as well. All right, so moving on to another meta AR is definitely going to be the Cold War AK-47. The attachments on this bad boy is going to be the Gru Suppressor, the 20-inch Spetsnaz RPK barrel. The optic is going to be the Axial Arms 3X. The magazine is going to be the 60-round mags. Then the underbarrel is going to be the Spetsnaz grip for the extra horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil as well. Moving on to probably a top two AR in Warzone right now is definitely the Automaton. And here is the loadout for you guys. So we got the MX Silencer. We got the Anastasia Sniper Barrel. The optic is going to be the SVT 40PU Scope 3 to 6X Zoom. The stock is going to be the Anastasia padded. Perk 1 and perk 2 is going to be tight grip and fully loaded. The rear grip is going to be the pine tar grip. The magazine is going to be the 6.5 mm Secura 75 round drum mags. Ammunition is going to be lengthened for the extra bullet velocity. Then the under barrel is going to be the M1941 hand stop. Alrighty and last but not least this is definitely a weird weapon but this gun is absolutely frying right now on rebirth. I tried it out the other day and it was two bursting so you definitely have to give this a shot. So the attachments on the M16 is going to be the agency silencer, the task force barrel, the Optic is going to be the Axial Arms 3X, like usual. And the underbarrel is going to be the Field Agent Grip. And the magazine is going to be the 45 round mags. All right, guys, I hope you all did enjoy that video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Drop a sub on the channel if you are new as well. And as always, guys, it has been your boy Dice. And I'm out. Peace, baby. I